Hey y'all, what's going on? It's another vlog, Cullen and Katie style. Not really. Not really. We were kind of hoping we wouldn't have to make another video like this, but here we are. Last time we made one, it was on this couch, just like this. Yep. So, um, um, here's the update on what's going on in life. I don't know, I guess start with what happened. Like, so I made the vlog a about a month and a half ago that y'all saw about how I was feeling emotional and kind of upset about things and yada yada and at that point you know we didn't know anything and then a couple weeks later two weeks ago on Labor Day we took a pregnancy test and it said I was pregnant so that's very exciting or was very exciting because obviously it had been a while it had been like five months last time it took one month the first month so that was yeah. Kind of like oh my gosh we were very shocked or we weren't shocked we were shocked but we were like more just oh my gosh so thankful yeah. that that all happened and so that was two weeks ago and so we just kind of were going on that i made a, an appointment actually for tomorrow to go in and like do the first appointment and all that stuff and then this weekend i'm not going to go into all the details but if you're a dude this still may be tmi <laughs> Um, but this weekend I started spotting some, which didn't happen last time, so it was a little bit different. But I just knew it wasn't right. That was Saturday, and then it got a little worse on Sunday. So I called the on-call nurse lady yesterday, and she was like, Sweetheart, it's totally normal, 99% of the time. That just happens around this time, and you don't need to worry. And I was like, I just know it's not right. Like, I know how my body works, and I know that that's not... that." is indicative of something different happening <laughs> anyways I just kind of waited it out um, until this morning and then it was still even a little bit more so I called the doctor's office and again the nurse was like well that sounds really normal and it shouldn't be anything to worry about but given your history I was like well I had a miscarriage in February so for those of y'all that don't know about that that's kind of we had we lost a baby in February because of that she let me come in and so Cullen Poor guy was at his new job today. It's been crazy, and and like first day I, of the new job. Yeah, well, well first, first day, day of my division, but in his department. Or um, division. yeah, it's just been it's been a crazy ride, and I think the only thing making it a little bit better this time, it's not good in any way, shape, or form. But well, wait, we haven't even said. Uh, no, that okay. I was just I have a defense built up now oh, yeah. about this because I'm just like. I don't believe it until I see it and yeah. so it was like one in the back of my head it was like I was really excited up front but in the back of my head we were just kind just... of hesitant still I mean but everybody said you know which I don't think we've talked about this either let me finish the story first so I, sorry we're all over the place so I went in today and um they were like well let's just come back and get a picture and then we'll send you home and I was like okay I don't think y'all are right but so they took me back there and the ultrasound tech didn't even turn the screen towards me. So I had to go by myself because Colin was at work at his new job. So he's like trying to pay attention to his new job and texting me and figuring out what's happening. And the lady was like, I don't see, I'm not seeing anything on the screen. I was like, you're not seeing anything? So those of y'all who have either been pregnant or know anything about being pregnant, there's like a sack that the baby's in and then there's the baby. And sometimes if it's too early, you'll see like the yolk sack is what it's called. But you won't see the baby but they didn't see anything like there wasn't anything there and I was like so you're not seeing anything she said no and I was like well what does that mean she said well the doctor will talk to you so then she sends me back out she's like well go back to the waiting area so she sends me back into this waiting area with all these pregnant people and I'm like trying not to cry and then there's all these people looking at me as I'm walking back out there and but I didn't cry but anyways um so they never saw anything the doctor came in and talked to me and was like well it could just be that it's too early based on your dates and I was like no there's no way that it would be so early that there wouldn't be anything in there like considering we took the test two weeks ago and I took one of those digital ones and it said two to three weeks pregnant like so which really means four to five weeks. She said, We're, we'll take some blood. And she said, we got a positive pregnancy test. Like, they make you pee in a cup, and then they do a pregnancy test there, too. She was like, we got a positive pregnancy test, too. So, it is saying you're pregnant, but I don't know why we're not seeing anything. So, she said it could be that it's too early, which I, that's not the case. It could be in the wrong place, meaning it would be, like, in a tube or something. Um, it should but, be more pain. Yeah, it would be having more pain and that kind of thing. It could just be that it's not developing. Like, the, the pregnancy never developed right. So thinking that's what it is. I had blood drawn, they're gonna see those numbers, and then I go back on Wednesday to get more blood drawn. But I mean, at this point, spotting has like picked up more, so I'm pretty sure things are just kind of done. But like we were saying, we just kind of have had our 
defenses yeah. up. And, I mean, we were very excited, but it was just kind of like, you know, I'm not... I don't want to get too excited about it, but I kind of had a, a good feeling because everybody says, you know, there's it's not very common for it to happen two times in a row, but of course it does happen. But I don't think we ever said this before, but they did genetic testing on the last baby that we lost, um, and it was a genetic malformation or whatever, which is supposedly just a fluke thing. And the nurse or the doctor said today, she was like, that could be what had happened again, which would be why your body didn't keep it. But if that's the case, she said, you just are getting more than your share of bad luck because that just usually is a fluke thing that doesn't happen again. If it's a genetic I don't, know, I don't think it was. If she didn't see anything. And, and I think that's what's making this one a little bit easier than the last one, just because we didn't see, you didn't see anything. I had my defense up already. I mean, we kind well, of last time we went for the that, first appointment, but... saw the heartbeat. Like, we had been real nervous anyway. Then we saw the heartbeat, and we saw the baby, and everybody was like, oh, well, that's great then. Once you see the heartbeat, the risk of miscarriage, like, totally drops, and you should be fine. And this time, we, you know, we hadn't even confirmed anything. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still hard, but I feel like it's... Well, and I think the process will speed up. You don't have to go through any, undergo any type of surgery yeah. or anything after like that, or hopefully. So anyways, we should find out more when I go back on Wednesday as far as, I mean, I assume my pregnancy levels or whatever will drop. Maybe I'll get to talk to the doctor and kind of find out more ideas on what's going on. My assumption, what it seems like to me, would be either a chemical pregnancy where... My understanding of that is that it actually forms an embryo or whatever, but it never implants. Um, I've also heard of a blighted ovum, which is like where the sac develops, but then the baby doesn't develop. But then it wasn't seen today. So I don't know if maybe my body was already getting rid of it, like it had developed, and that's why it lasted six months. Because I think chemical pregnancies are usually, sh I mean, not six months, <laughs> six weeks. <laughs> chemical pregnancies are usually shorter. Yeah, so it would have been about six weeks now is what I should have been. Yeah. But anyway, thank y'all for your support. Yeah, we're and praying for hope and praying for future babies. And we really appreciate y'all all watching and supporting and praying as well. and Especially as we're I mean, going to just go at it again. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's just what happens. You will see a baby in the vlogs Hopefully, one day yes. soon. We hope. Yes, we're uh, so. going to, I mean, one way or the other, we will have a child one day. Whether we have to adopt a child or whether we have to whatever, we will have a child. We're going to be the next saying. Duggars. We're going to just, once we start having them, just have them. <laughs> anyway, we just wanted to kind of post this real quick and uh, let y'all, I mean, it was another bummer day and we didn't want to hide anything and we just know it's God's plan again and yes. continued. <laughs> yes, and we're trying to we're... be, trying to be positive about it and I mean, we say all the time and I know God's good all the time, even when things like this happen. So we're just trying to know that he's good for the reasons of, you know, this is going to, there's a reason for all of this, and it will be right. Yeah. And I love you. I love you too. I love this girl. She's had to <laughs> go through days. a lot. But you so, have too. No, not near as much as you. But so uh, what I'm going to do now is just post some of the reaction footage that we got. I didn't do this the first time just because it was a little more emotional uh, for us at least. I mean, this is still emotional. Um, but no, it's, it's really emotional, and I, I'm still, I'm just... It, I don't think I don't that's why... I wasn't really ready to make this video necessarily yeah, because Colin because... hasn't even been home but like five minutes. He's been at work all day. So That's here's some of the reaction footage coming up. And so reactions of people that we happen to see in the mix of the past couple weeks that we, we really had didn't. to kind of tell. We didn't plan on telling anybody. We just knew that we had to. Yeah, we told a few people that have kind of been there. And at this point, I think everybody knew that we were trying again. Right, right. So it's kind of hard not to just tell people that we're like, okay, I know you're trying and I know it's about that time when you should know. So are you pregnant? Oh, I was going to say, this is a real time vlog. Like this is, today is, we'll just say Monday. And we're going to post this Monday. So... Um, the footage from Sunday and like this weekend that would have normally been posted today, Colin will post tomorrow. He just wanted to go ahead and get this up and not like act like everything was fine for another day when it's not. So, y'all keep us in our in your prayers. Um, I know lots of y'all have been through similar things as well, or your parents or your friends have. So, for those of y'all that are dealing with this as well, we understand and you know there's hope and we know that we will be parents one day. Um, and we will have a baby one way or the other. Eventually, it will happen. I'm ready. <laughs> so. All right, guys. We love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. We really appreciate all the love and support. And we will see you in the next vlog. Love you.
Y'all may never see this footage. We're not getting our hopes like, up. Makes me so nervous. Not getting our hopes up. Is it saying it? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Already. Oh, <laughs> like wow. I just put it in there. Yeah. Yay. OMG. That's good. We haven't seen that in so long. That's okay. <laughs> That's a really good one. <laughs> you sure? Yes. <laughs> God answered our prayers. Yeah, he did. And all their prayers too. Dang, that's a good one. <gasps> that's a really good one. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I mean, that came up like immediately. <laughs> it did. No waiting. I'm so excited. <sighs> Whew. Now we just gotta wait. The next five weeks are gonna be tough. Today's Labor Day, if anybody wants to know, because this is like old footage. Today's Labor Day, it's Granberry's birthday today. Oh, it sure is. Happy birthday, Granberry. Sorry, we can't tell you right now. <gasps> Did you really? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> For sure? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> are you sure? Uh -oh. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure that's... Well, I hope so. You've done it two or three times. Yeah, I did! Yay! What? Right. What? Oh. No, I'm just really... I can't believe it. Oh, we're you know what I told her? We're going to have a baby. You're going to be a cousin. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> On Labor Day, we um, took a pregnancy test, and it, it was. Oh, yay! I know. Oh my God. Crazy. Yay! So, for you and me. Okay, cool. Since I can't drink either. You can. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna cry. I know. I think I'm about to cry. <laughs> oh my God! I was like, I wonder if she's gonna tell me that, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, man. It's awesome, dude. Yeah. <gasps> I love you. I love you. There's a little baby in oh, there. Oh, it's crazy. Hey, <laughs> semicolon. <laughs> <laughs>